Hi guys, Dennis here from Denny Bob's RC Construction and Ag Conversions. Um, I'm going to take my, what I call the Grand Grand Hauler, out for a little walk in the shop. Uh, I haven't done any motion videos of it, and I'm going to kind of demonstrate the first, second, and third gears. Um, the sound kit, and the lights, and the horn. Eh, you have to let me know what you think. Uh, I did do some modifications to the front axle to get it to turn as short as possible. This is a 32 inch frame truck um, and it is extremely long and it takes a lot to turn it around but uh, still fun, still cool to look at but uh, you have to let me know what you think. Um, here we go. Well, here we have what I call my grand, grand hauler. And uh, we're going to take it out for a little walk. Not much of a walk. I'm going to, it's too cold outside to be going out there, but. Uh... <laughs> Well, that was kind of an anticlimactic video, but anyway, um, no, the truck is running a 55 turn uh, RC four wheel drive brushless motor with a four to one gearbox at the back of the transmission, and I'm running the stock three speed transmission. Um, the work, the setup works great for me. I've I've done a few trucks the same way, so um, seems to work just fine. Now, uh, yeah, getting into turns of motors and everybody's got their own opinions on that. And to be honest with you, I don't care what your opinions are about it. Uh, this works for me and I'm happy with it. So that's what matters to me. Um, the sound system is a 3T Lasso. The... Uh, the lights are just strictly on an auxiliary light switch. I turn them on and off. Um, all my trailers are set up that same exact way uh, with a JST plug and I plug them in and the lights come on and the lights go off. I don't need turn signals and flashers and 
all this other stuff. I, I don't need it. Uh, not my thing. Uh, do I think it's cool on some of the trucks? Sure I do. But am I going to deal with it? Nope. Just more wiring and headaches that I don't want to deal with. Um, but uh, overall, I'm really happy with the way the truck turned out. Um, it is an extremely long truck. 32 inch frame. Um, bumper to bumper, you're, you're probably looking at about 34. And uh, it's it takes a lot to turn it around. But uh, it, is it practical? No. But is it fun to look at? Sure is. Is it fun to drive? Yeah, it's a challenge. Uh, and I enjoy it. Uh, and still enjoying the hobby. Um, I've kind of switched over to more Tamaya builds, gotten away from my Ertl and my Bruder builds. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I'll ever go back to doing any of that stuff. Um, it was too antagonizing on my brain, so to speak. Uh, too taxing on me. Um, I, nothing better than just sitting back and getting a kit and just lay the stuff out and start putting it together. Um, I've gotten to the point of the transmissions. You know, I've done enough of them now. I hardly even look at the books. I just put the things together. Um, but it, it's relaxing and easy on my mind. So um, all the builds that I've done throughout the last three, four years, um, been some cool stuff, some neat stuff, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, but I'm kind of getting away from those custom one-off builds. Uh, it's just time consuming and <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I don't have the patience for it as much as I used to. I mean, just in the last few years, it's just been an awful lot to deal with. So uh, I'm probably going to be done with building custom stuff like that and I'll probably go into building these types of trucks um, I have right now uh, two dump trucks that I'm currently working on and <clears throat> I had a third that I had already gotten done just recently and I, I think I posted the video up on the, on some of that too but anyway my, I've went a lot longer, and I probably won't keep any of you this long in the video. So, anyway, you'll have to bear with me. Um, I'm just back here living life and loving it. So, catch you guys later.